as a leader, you want to feel confident that as change is implemented, the initial issues will be sorted out, inefficiencies reduce, cost diminishes, and a level of order will replace the initial chaos. Eventually, you will experience the desired result. Actually, there is a model that describes improvement over time. It is called the experience curve. You can predict cost reduction over time. Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from IMP. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. How can we predict cost reduction over time when we introduce new products or commission new processes or production lines? In the previous episode, we introduced the learning curve. The concept was first described by a psychologist named Hermann Ebbinghaus in 1885. He focused on the psychology of learning. Simply put, what he observed is that the more experience you have, the less you learn. Early in the 20th century, the concept was picked up by Frank and Lillian Gilbreth in the field of industrial engineering. They observed that workers became more efficient and effective as they gained experience with a particular task, leading to a reduction of in the time required to complete the task. In 1936, Theodore Wright, an aeronautical engineer, found that every time total aircraft production doubled, the required labor time for a new aircraft fell by 20%. The experience curve model posits that for each doubling of the total quantity of items produced, costs decrease by a fixed proportion, the progress ratio. And that includes administration, marketing, distribution, and manufacturing. Now, why overall do cost reduces based on the repetition of cycles? Let's pick up a few reasons. Labor and management efficiency increases. That's the learning curve we saw in the last video. Shared experience, improving standards, all contribute to continuous improvement of processes. Big problems are tackled first and then smaller problems. So even though the cost continues to reduce, there is a diminishing return on the improvement. Network effect, more usage or traffic on the same infrastructure reduces the unit cost to a point and increases utility. That's true for logistics and social networks. The phrase experience curve was coined by Bruce Anderson, the founder of the Boston Consulting Group. In the 1960s and 70s, research by BCG observed experience curve effects for various industries that ranged from 10% to 25%. The model has great implications for strategy. And that's why it is useful for you as a leader. Somewhat, you can anticipate cost improvements over time as you introduce new products or processes. Better still, with some research and data, you can even predict it. In most cases, the value of the progress ratio in each industry is a constant percentage and does not vary at different scales of operation. So let's recap. An experience curve describes that cost reduces by a progress ratio every time accumulated production volumes are doubled. Progress ratio are usually constant for a particular industry. By understanding experience curves, you can reduce the risk 
when making certain strategic investments and change decisions in an uncertain world. And this is the good quote for this episode. John Wooden wrote, When you improve a little each day, eventually big things occur. Not tomorrow, not the next day, but eventually a big gain is made. That's the only way it happens. And when it happens, it lasts. So you may ask yourself, what happens when the experience curve plateaus? When much improvement effort doesn't yield much cost reduction anymore? Well, I hope that you are already introducing the next product or technological breakthrough. Isn't this beautiful? You may have a need to improve on your leadership skills, turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. If you would like to meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching, send me an email at wwd at mp.solutions. I will gladly start a conversation with the first three viewers who contact me. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead and learn well.